I need people to know for sure and take this serious that we aren't in the end times unless we choose to allow that to be our outcome. We've been toxifying and harming the planet we live on for so long. Just like we have bodies that launch their own immune system defenses that we ourselves don't see. You don't need to go to a store to buy a medicine to take it unless your immune system is weak because you've messed it up with those medicines. So now you need other medicines to equal you out. And then when you don't have those medicines, you're unequal or else you would be able to fight them off without the medicines again. But that's okay. What I'm saying here is that if we don't really choose to take what I'm saying seriously, it's like our world itself is using its own nature defense system. And some of that is in the minds of some of the people. Some of it is in the air and the toxins. Some of it is going to be in the ground and things that grow because we toxify our air. And then it floats through the air and settles in places. And over time, that builds up and it grows into our plants and our trees and our air. It goes everywhere. We share everything. We're one big living thing. Like if you cut your toe, or if you cut your toe off, you'll get woozy because eventually you lose so much blood, the rest of your body's, you know, needing to give blood to that area. You know what I'm saying? We all work in one unit when that thing happens. Or it's just, say, for instance, you're not feeling so happy about something and then you all of a sudden like fracture your ankle now your ankle is the most more important part of your body and and you're limping on it and giving it all this extra attention and compensating with the rest of your body mostly your other leg but still you're favoring that one spot and that one spot of your whole body is doing that well right now there's such a launch on different spots on the in the world that it's having its own effect and we know that water holds memory do you know how much memory an ocean holds do you know how much memory just a lake full of water holds and all that stuff trickles down in from the hills and it goes into the lakes it goes into the oceans and evaporates back up into the clouds along with the things that other people are knowingly doing to our weather that stuff affects us they have to know that science is doing this on a little level i've done it on such a large level that i know exactly what i'm saying but there's no easy way to do it overnight it's got to be people putting in the effort to care about the physical world they live in instead of being lazy and just doing whatever they want and thinking it's all just going to magically clean itself up and they'll just throw all their garbage in their dumpster and the dumpster will just clean itself up yeah these people will pick it up and they'll go take care of it yeah People have got to get their wits about them and see that this isn't not just... What other words could I say for it that I haven't said the thousands and thousands of times that I've tried to explain to people that we are one with God, not in the physical body, but once we are understanding of who we truly are, we are that, still in the physical body. And we know what's going to happen to us afterwards. And we know what else we can do in this physical world afterwards. But it's hard to remember that when you come back because other people around you affect you. And as a child, you change. You are memory through water and minerals. And the more we keep reminding ourselves to do stupid things, that stays in our collective. And then the next kids born aren't necessarily going to be smarter or worse. We could clean it up. Then we could get lazy again. We could stay lazy and destroy the world. And what's left will spawn new people in the water over time. And we'll call it a great new awakening. We'll call it the mass extinction. And we think we're so big. We're just grown creatures that will come back again over and over and over. Have you ever killed off an infectious mold and seen that over a period of time, if you let the conditions be the same it was when it grew in the first place, it'll grow back? We're just a big version of that. Not even an infectious mold is what we call infectious mold. It's just a living creature living the way it lives according to what nature is giving it. We don't understand that kind of stuff because we think it's petty compared to us. But a lot of those things are what are doing what keeps our bodies alive, keeps our bodies moving, keeps our hearts pumping. The stuff that is in our organs, that is traveling through our information systems, through our spiritual system, through our chakras and those channels, and through our bloodstream and all the stuff that we eat and take in is alive. More alive than most people are because they just think they're some person going around having a job, getting some fast food and, you know, shacking up with whoever they can not everybody of course but we have a majority of people that are thriving for that or actually portraying that even if they aren't doing it or idolizing that even if they aren't one of those people and it's not what we should 
allow. Not because we think anything bad of them, but if it's on TV and it's the programming, tune it out. If you think it's cool, you've got to remember you're allowing yourself to be that kind of person, whether you're watching it to rip on it or condone it. Either way, you're allowing that to happen and you're supporting it. You start supporting some meaningful things and start doing some fun things that aren't harmful. That's, that's that simple. So, anyway, peace.